Yes, good morning. I'm on the cab of the machine which we released day ago. No issue with the machine except the strut right hand side which we are waiting for parts. The machine is now under fueling and inspection. We came out to drive this machine here and bring it back again to the parking area. I'm ready for operation. So here you can see this is your right control here that controls your hoist your hoist has four positions this is the body down position next is your float position this is the hold position and this is the race position so on the left side you got your transmission control lever you got six position in it park reverse neutral drive second gear first gear when you ship it to one you mean you lock your transmission to that position but normally when you're in normal operation just to put the control lever on the drive then the transmission will ship automatically based on your ground speed and your engine speed the front right you got your AC control where you can set it to automatic or manual and you have your heater too this heater is very useful nowadays because it's winter here here's your monitoring here and your payload and messenger there's your horn switch this is your front brake disable or activation switch in this position the front brake is not enabled so when you press your service brake pedal the front brake will not activate normally we don't activate the front brake because uh, there's no need to use it and here is your the upper right upper top is your retarder switch which you can set it to automatic in that position or you can use manual just pull this and just control it by yourself when you put it into auto the ACM will decide based on your ground speed either you're gonna engage it or it will deactivate that retarder but every time when you put your retarder setting to automatic once you press the brake then the retarder will be kicked off so that's how it is in the middle you got your gauges where you can monitor your temperature for hydraulic for your engine coolant this is your tachometer over here where you can see your engine speed and this is your transmission temperature and your fuel level the other side left side is your switches for the light this is your ladder switch working light switch the hazard switch your case starters switch is here you get three position you got zero means you switch off one you mean you power the system but you didn't start and the third is your cranking position after you release you release your hand on the switch it will go back to one which maintains the power in the system Yes, we start the machine and we're going back to the parking area. We wait until the parking brake pressure switch is disengaged. That means that there is enough pressure to release the parking brake and the rear tires. So once it's gone, then the machine is good to move. Once it's still on, please don't move your machine your brake still not released because there's no pressure for it okay go
here. parking area now put your part then it's time to release your service brake from the panel so make sure to switch off all the lights that's all i think the machine was performing well now let's monitor this machine it's rebuilt so this machine got a new light again we hope this will perform great thank you and have a good day